Okay, so what's up everyone? My name is Jason John and welcome here back to my channel. It's so good to have you here and welcome, welcome, welcome. In this video, I want to share with you 11 things that I've had to learn or have learned along the way of me owning a small business in the event industry. Owning a business and being the captain of a ship has a ton of benefits and I am a glass half full guy, but in this video, I'm going to uncover and unravel some of the things that I've had to deal with or some things that I've learned or experienced along the way. And this may come off negative to some people. It's not meant to be negative. It's just meant to be constructive and is meant to really give you perspective on things that you need to be aware of or things that you could potentially encounter if you are successful in creating a company. So I think it's time to get started and let's dive into this content based on my real deal learnings of owning a business in the event industry. I'm gonna kick things off with my first lesson here and things that you need to be aware of. And these are not in any particular order, but my first lesson that I wanna share with you is that you are gonna spend an ungodly amount of time, energy, and money working on events that are not going to return anything to you regardless of their promises you're going to spend a lot of time energy and money working on relationships or relationships with people who do not have your best interest or your company's best interest in mind they're only going to be out for themselves you need to be aware of this right up front number two some people enter the small business industry thinking that having their own business will afford them the luxury of time and freedom and flexibility. And yes, that is true. But when you first get started, if you desire or aspire to be successful, you are going to have to put in the time and the energy. And chances are you are going to work much more and much harder than anyone anywhere working a standard, typical nine to five, 40 hour a week kind of career path. If you want to succeed, you need to invest the energy and time and up front, although things always look good on the outside, most people don't understand what is truly required to succeed. And the amount of time that you're going to spend on your business is insane. You need to be aware of that right up front. Number three, if you want to last in any industry, you need to be consistent. And I think consistency is longevity in the event space. The minute you start cutting corners or sacrificing quality or taking shortcuts, although you might save a little bit of time, it could cost you much more in the future. And you need to be aware of that upfront. If you are looking to do whatever you do for the long term, for the long haul, understand that consistency is everything. Number four, bigger is not always better. Some people think they need to have a bigger ship. They need to put more seats on the bus. And although that could be true for some business plans and for some types of companies, it's not always the case. I think the true kind of pinnacle of success is understanding what you're capable of, understanding where your services fall, understanding your worth and understanding what value you bring to the table for the people that are hiring you. In order to achieve your value and to get your worth for your services, you need to deliver and you need to always deliver. And in order to sometimes do that, it's not about how many people you have sitting on your bus. It's, an, it's about being consistent and delivering a solid presentation every time that you actually work. But really, when people enter the business world, they always think that they have to grow and growing too soon can actually crush your business if you do not have the right people on board. So understanding your strengths, understanding your services, understanding what you bring to the table and being able to command your value and receive your value is truly the pinnacle here. Being bigger isn't always better. Never, ever, ever, ever forget. Number five. Pretending to be something you're not is only going to limit your true potential. Sure, you could land opportunities. Sure, you could make things happen. But if you're emulating and not being true to yourself, your services, what you enjoy, you are only selling yourself and your business short. Number six, you earn respect by giving it and by doing things that you are asking other people to do. 
So if you own a business and you are instructing people to do something, earn the respect of your team. Start there and start by leading by example and showing people how you want it done. Show them how you'd like it to be and show them that you are in it with them, no matter what they're doing or who they are. You earn respect by giving it to people and you also earn respect by doing the things you are asking other people to do. Number seven, dollars and cents. Most small business owners make a hundred thousand dollars a year or less. Don't fall into the trap of looking at Instagram and falling into that smoke and mirrors game, assuming people are better off than they actually really are. Understand if you want to be successful, you have to kind of put everything in play and you have to be all in, but understand in order to make money for yourself, you need to make money as a business and you need to make sure that everybody that works for that business is taken care of. Number eight, you need to dream really big. And I mean like bigger than you can ever imagine, but you also have to be willing to do the work to make that happen. You need to be able to break things apart and understand in order to achieve certain goals and to get to certain places that you need to do the work. You never can lose sight of what it takes to materialize something. So if you're falling short of the amount of weddings that you want to do or events that you want to book, you need to switch things up. You need to be aware that in order to get to the next level, you might need to do things differently and you always have to have your eyes open. You can get what you wish for as long as you're willing to do the work in order to get you there. Number nine, this is a core one that kind of hits home, but as a business owner, you're going to have to make some really, 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 really challenging decisions, whether it be about marketing, employees, staff, or just business decisions in general that could potentially shake you to the core. These decisions are not going to be easy. These decisions could even impact personal relationships you have with people that you know longer than your business has been around. You have to be aware that some decisions you're going to make are going to be challenging. And a lot of people assume that the waters are always going to be calm when you're the captain of the ship. But what happens when the storm comes? You need to be prepared for it. And these decisions can be and will be incredibly challenging at times of your journey. Number 10, honesty and being transparent with your team and with the people you are doing business with will give you the peace of mind and give you the ability to sleep at night. As a business owner, you need to understand that you could be lied to, you could be stolen from, you could be pushed to your sanity kind of breaking point, and hopefully this doesn't happen more times than not. You can be misguided, you could make the wrong decisions, and you will just make sure that you stay true to your values, your core, and your beliefs. But when you're honest, when you operate with integrity and transparency, it will give you the framework to be able to sleep at night and know you've always done the right thing. Number 11, this is a really, really big one. Be sure to go out of your way to take care of the people who are taking care of you and giving you the opportunity of doing all the things that you do. Be sure to say thank you. Be sure to compliment someone. Be sure to constructively criticize someone if you see something going wrong. Be sure to operate as a professional. Be sure to share honest thoughts and be sure to acknowledge the people that are helping you grow. Never forget who was there from you in the beginning and never forget who's there with you along the way. Not just when things are good and when the opportunities are rolling in, but when things get challenging as well. Owning a business is not truly everything you may think it is. I can't tell you how many times I've been super proud and I've been able to post and share things that have inspired others to do amazing things. But on the other hand, there's been a lot of situations that I've personally gone through that I never shared and that I don't want to share because I never want to discourage anyone from kind of getting to that next level. My goal with this video is paying it forward, sharing with you some things that I've personally gone through that I think any and all small business owners need to be aware of, especially when they're starting their own company. 
My name is Jason Janai. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd love to hear from you. If there's anything that you've learned in your journey owning or operating a small business that I missed out, throw it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you disagree with anything that I said, yeah, have at it. Go in the comments and engage with me there. I'll respond to every single person that takes the time or energy to participate in the comments down below. And I appreciate you checking out the content on this channel. I have more content coming very, very soon here. So be sure to look back and check out what I have in store coming up very, very soon. My name is Jason. Thanks for watching.